Hi friends, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Lenovo G510. This is the metallic black that we are reviewing today. We already reviewed the Lenovo G510 which is the grey one. This is the new metallic black that uh, Lenovo has launched. They say it is metallic black. Let us uh, find it out. Now starting with the battery here, uh, it's got a standard 6 cell lithium ion battery and the power ratings here uh, show up as 48 watt hours, 4400 mAh and 10.8 volts. So very standard looking 6 cell lithium ion battery should give you a backup of in excess of 3 hours. And uh, the new look uh, Lenovo adapter, little difficult to get if it is uh, having a problem and uh, you need to buy a new one. The power rating here is 20 volt and uh, 3.25 ampere, it has got the standard uh, USB type pin connector as you can see. Now this is the way it looks on the top over here absolutely no metal whatsoever it's uh, entirely fiber it's got the same textured finish uh, that the G510 grey has uh, albeit it is uh, entirely jet black absolutely black to be precise Lenovo logo here is painted it's got this uh, nice little textured finish but some amount of dust gets accumulated here it's a little difficult to clean up these so that's one thing let me show you the tilt angles this is the maximum that it will tilt as you can see the tilt angles are uh, not all that great 125 130 degrees at the max but good enough the thickness remains the same now the metal that we were trying to find in this g510 metal is over here in the palm rest area and this entire part over here as you can see this is the way it looks uh, the keyboard is a full size uh, chiclet keyboard it's got a numpad based keyboard full size here the power button a one key recovery with the mesh in covering the speakers over here one speaker over here another one over here so this part here is uh, very different from the g510 gray as you can see entirely metal over here this part this model that we are reviewing is a Core i5 4th Gen uh, 4200M based uh, laptop. It's got 2GB 88D on graphics. The touchpad here is also of a decent size. It could be bigger actually, but it's the way it is. Left and right clicks, entirely matte finishing over here. The grip is not there. Good enough uh, palm rest area given. The screen is a glare HD LED as you can see, you will see your face all the time and that is not a good thing. Over here, uh, the LCD covering here is having a glossy finish, not metallic to be precise. It's having a glossy finish all over. This is the way it looks on the left. Uh, it's got this uh, Kensington lock, with good amount of dissipation V and vent area. VGA, Ethernet, HDMI, two USB 3.0 ports over here, single USB, single uh, headphone com mic combi jack over here, pretty thick, fat little Lenovo laptop. In the front here you have a memory card reader slot, three indicators, one is for uh, power, battery and uh, another one is for caps lock, that's it, yeah. On the right side, uh, only one more USB 2.0 port, the charging pin connector, DVD writer. This is the way it looks, the finishing part. The rear, there are no I.O. ports. The base here is a very standard looking Lenovo G500, G510 base. Uh, no screws whatsoever. Clutter free, absolutely neat. Good amount of uh, dissipation vent area for dissipating heat over here, over here as well let us look at the camera quality here pathetic camera quality I can say I mean uh, not at all clear uh, the image is very very blur as you can see uh, I, I did not buy this laptop for the camera actually it's one thing that is letting Lenovo G510 down apart from everything else 